So in this video, I want to find the roots of this equation. So z take away 2i to the power of 5 is equal to 8 take away 5i. So what I want you to do is just ignore that z take away 2i for the moment. Okay, We're just going to solve it just as we did in the previous video. So I'm going to have to find the modulus and argument of 8 take away 5i. That's the first job. So 8 take away 5i, so somewhere down here. So 8 long, 5 down. OK. So square root of 8 squared plus 5 squared is root 89. So that's the modulus. The argument, inverse tan of 5 of 8. So um, 0 0.5585999. Etc. Okay, so we can say that z take away 2i to the power of 5 is going to be equal to root 89 times uh, cosine of the um, minus 0 0.558, so minus 0 0.558599. OK, uh, plus I sine of minus 0 0.558599. OK, so Z take away 2I is going to be of the form of the fifth root of this. So we've got the fifth root of 89, which is now going to be 89 to the power of 1 tenth. OK, times by cosine of your angle, minus 0 0.558599 plus 2 pi k over n, which is 5, plus i sine of minus 0 0.558599 plus 2 pi k over 5, like that, where k is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. OK? Right. So all I need to do then is substitute in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then just add 2i on the end, OK, for each one. So when k is equal to 0, z is going to be equal to. So we've got. 89 to the power of 1 over 10. And we're going to times that by cosine of minus 0 0.558599 plus 2 pi k where k is 0, so just that, and divide by 5. OK? So we get um, 1.56 okay, to three significant figures. Now, in order to speed this up, Right. You could use the table function on your calculator to help. But if I work out each of the cosine bits first, then that's going to really speed this process up. So I'm just going to change uh, it to 2 pi. So we get 0 0.647. Uh, that's when k is 1. So when k is 2, we have uh, 4 pi. So minus 1.16. And when we've got 6 pi, um, we're going to get minus 1.36. And finally, for 8 pi, we get 0 0.315. OK, right, now for the sine bit. Now, remember, you're adding on the 2i as well. So uh, we've got 89 to the power of uh, 1 tenth times by uh, sine of minus 0 0.558599 uh, divided by 5. And remember, you're adding on the 2 as well. OK, so for the first one, we get plus 1.83i 
Now I need to make sure that I'm adding on uh, 2 pi, so k is 1. So then we get 3.43 pi. Then for 4 pi, uh, we get 3.06i. Then for 6 pi, uh, 1.23i. And when k is 4, so adding on 8 pi this time, uh, we get 0.465i. Okay, so. Uh, these are going to be my five roots. So it might be interesting to see kind of like what this looks like. Right, real imaginary. Right, so uh, I'm going to have to divide this up reasonably evenly. Two, three, one, two, three. Uh, one. Two, three, four up here. See how that goes. Um, okay, so 1.56 plus 1.83i. So something like there, maybe. It's your first one. Uh, 0 0.647 plus 3.43i. So 0 0.647, 3.43, so somewhere up here. Uh, minus 1.16 plus 3.06i, so somewhere around there. Uh, minus 1.36 plus 1.23, so minus 1.36 plus 1.23, so something like there, maybe. Um, and 0 0.315 plus 0 0.465, so 0 0.315 plus 0 0.46. Five, something like that, and what you can see is your pentagon. Okay, so the key here is the pentagon is centered at 2i. Okay, so that's your central point. Okay, effectively, you've translated the pentagon upwards from the origin now to 2i. And you've got ro this rotated figure of the pentagon round because you're working with 8 take away 5i rather than um, it being equal to 1. Okay? And so that is how you can find the roots for that type of equation.